Hello, all my book lovers. Welcome back to The Book Corner. I am Hermione, author and lover of all good things literature. So today's video is going to kind of be something that I actually did not actually think I was ever going to do. And uh, as uh, and as uh, as things go, I kind of am guilty of like wondering why something was recommended to me at Barnes & Noble last year. And then getting it on Kindle Unlimited, being five chapters in, and kind of like, hmm, okay. <laughs> right. So I brought my Kindle out. Not going to turn it on, but um, just like, yep, it's a Kindle edition. So the book is called Zodiac Academy. And I have been hearing some choice words with that series. Lots of choice words with that series. So, um, I, the book, the first book is basically deals with the astrological sign known as Gemini. And we have these two girls who are actually changelings. They're members of the royal family, their princesses, they co they will be able to co rule their kingdom. So as I said, I am on chapter five of the book and I'm gonna make a whole series of videos if I go and I notice something is very off about it. Very off. So um so last year I was at Barnes and Noble um, and I went and spent, um, a lot of money on books. I spent, like, well over $500 on books. I will never do that again. <laughs> um, if I do, it'll be gift cards, and it'll be, like, accumulating over time and all that jazz. So, um, so, um, so I was at Barnes and Noble, and this was the big one. This was the one with the cafe and all the stuff. And I actually went there because I went to the one in Paddock. And Paddock is where wealthy people live. And I think I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I kind of want to put this in kind of a context. And they had they had shrunk their store down and everything. And so Basically, um, I decided to go to the one with the cafe because um, I wanted to get something to eat there and I kind of wanted to have a larger selection of books to look over. So I was in the young adult area, fantasy area, and I made a comment that, you know, I would really like to have a recommendation on what kind of books is good. Well, this girl heard me. <laughs> This girl heard me. And apparently, she took me at face value. You want a recommendation. So, she told me Zodiac Academy. Well, the covers are the cover's pretty. I will give the author that. The cover is pretty. I, I just, there was something about this, about the book that told me, don't buy it. Don't buy it. So, um... Kindle Unlimited actually had it for free. And before I before I decided to pick it up, I watched reviews of it. And there were videos of people that loved it. But then there was people that hated it. <laughs> they absolutely hated the book. And I'm starting to kind of understand where they're coming from in this. So, for people that don't know, my favorite genre besides um, besides horror is fantasy. I love fantasy. Give me a good fantasy story any day. Game of Thrones is something different, and I will tell you, I am, I am, I'm. Dragging my body through that book. Um, I've had the book for about four months and I am at 14% of the book. Um, not that it's a bad book. It's just 
I'm like, I'm kind of like picking my time to actually read it. I own the book. I own, I'm sorry, type that. I own permission to read the book. But, um, yeah. So, the, so what I'm getting from the first, um, five chapters of the first four chapters of the book is that these are twin princesses and they have to graduate from the academy in order to become queens. There is a scene in the fourth chapter. For anyone who has read the first book, you know what scene I'm talking about. You literally have this guy who is draining this girl's magic and there's blood involved. I finished reading that chapter and I'm like, what the hell did I just read there? In all 50 states, including your conservative states, that would be illegal. That is assault. Plain and simple. It is fucking assault. You are forcing yourself on someone and you're doing something to them they don't want. And I'm like, is this just the taste of the bullshit that is, <laughs> is Zodiac Academy? And I am going to be very blunt about this. If I do not like the first book, and I am go I'm going to read five more chapters of the book, and then I'll make a decision if I'm going to st stick with it. Um, so you might just get two videos. You might just get two videos. But you might get three or four. Don't know. Um, I will return it back to Kindle One, back to Amazon, because literally, literally, you are romanticizing assault. You know, and that was the impression I got from it when it's like, you know. And what made it even worse for me as a woman is having an adult there who is in higher position doing absolutely nothing about it. Nothing. And her twin is being held back so she cannot interfere with what is going on. So, yeah, that's my first issue with Zodiac Academy Book 1. Um, I got a funny feeling I'm going to have a lot more problems with this book um, as I progress. Um, I've had people say there's some pretty disgusting things that the characters do. Um, and I will say, I will give it five more chapters, and I literally am going to be very blunt about this. If there is any more issues with this book, I will send it back to Amazon. I, even though it's free, and I didn't have to pay for it, I absolutely, absolutely will not read garbage and bullshit, uh, stories. And this is a problem that... I got with fantasy as a whole is that they don't know how to write proper fantasy. So I will actually do a whole video about that next because I think it's important to put that out there of why what's causing fantasy to suffer as it is because it is suffering. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in a second.